Hello! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Dave Jeffrey Camposano. Our topic for the discussion today is all about standard scores. The standard score or Z-score measure how many standard deviation a given value X is above or below the mean. The Z-score are useful in comparing observed values. A positive Z-score indicates that the score or observed value is above the mean whereas a negative z-score indicates that the score or, ob ob or observed value is below the mean so pag positive yung nakuha natin mas mataas ka dun sa average pag negative mas mababa ka dun sa average okay the z-score is found by using the following equations so ito yung formula natin so letter A for sample lang so yun uh, mapapansin nyo para sa naman yung formula natin nagkaiba lang ng uh, Um, variable, no? So, yon X bar, that is sample mean. Dito naman, mu, sa population mean. Okay? So, let us try. On a final examination in biology, the mean was 75 and the population, uh, and the standard deviation was 12. So, yung mean daw is 75 and standard deviation was 12. Determine the standard score of a student who receive a score of 60 assuming that the scores are normally distributed. So, ang gagamitin natin dyan formula ay itong una. Kasi isa lang naman eh. Sample. No? Sample mean. So, uh, madali lang naman yan guys. Um, substitute lang natin sa given. So, ang hinahanap lang natin dito is what? Determine the standard score. So, ang hinahanap lang natin dito is yung Z. So, Z is equal to x minus x bar over s so z is equal to ayan alin kaya dyan yung x ano bang ibig sabihin ng x natin that is the sample standard deviation so ano yung standard deviation ng sample natin ito 60 okay so 60 minus a So, 75. That is the sample mean. Kasi yung mean ng sa, sa, sa sample natin, eh, no? ang mean daw is 75. So, minus 75 all over S. Ano yung S natin? That is the ayan, sample standard deviation. So, standard deviation natin is 12. So, simplify lang natin yan. We will get Z is equal to negative 1.25 okay so kung igagrap natin yan guys so yan uh, zero so ibig sabihin nandito siya so negative 1.25 so ibig sabihin nito this indicates that 60 is 1.25 standard deviations below the mean so negative 1.25 standard deviation below the mean ka kasi nga, ang, ang average natin is 75, pero ang nakuha lang daw nung score nung uh, estudyante is 60. So, negative 1.25 standard deviation, below the mean siya. So, ganun lang siya kadali. No, guys? So, ganyan ang ating number 1. Ito, guys, number 2. So, para mas maintindihan nyo kung ano ba tong Z-score na to, no? Lose scored 90 in an English test and 70 in a physics test. So, 90 daw siya sa English, 70 sa physics, no? Scores in the English have a mean of 80 and a standard deviation of 10. So, take note of the given, ha? English have a, have a uh, mean of 80 and a standard deviation of 10. Scores in the physics uh, test have a mean of 60 and standard deviation of 8. In which subject was her standing better assuming that the scores in her English and physics class are normally distributed okay so kinocompare natin yung English saka physics magkaiba yung score nila so although mas matas yung score niya sa English pero nagkakaiba naman sa um, mean sa average no saan daw kaya siya mas uh, better So, syempre, hindi natin siya titignan lang ng ano eh, ng score itself. No, titignan natin yung 
totality baka mamaya marami naman palang naka 90 or sa physics naman marami palang naka 70 so ganun natin uh, ikinocompare natin siya no? so an- paano natin gagawin yan kukompute natin si z-score kasi titignan natin kung gano'n siya kalayo dun sa average okay kung gano'n siya kalayo dun sa average then um sa mako-conclude natin dapat kung sino mas malayo dun sa average dapat positive syempre dahil pag negative mas mababa ka dun sa average di ba so dapat mas malaking z score na positive mas okay ibig sabihin mas nakakaangat ka dun sa karamihan sa average no Kung, uh, isolve muna natin isa-isa so formula natin diyan is z is equal to kanina x minus x bar over s okay so isa-isahin muna natin english tapos um, physics sa English muna tayo so Z is equal to okay ano yung score ni Luz yan yung formula natin no ano yung score ni Luz 90 so 90 minus the mean ilan yung sa English nila 90 mean is 80 So, 90 minus 80 over, what is the standard deviation of sa English natin? 10. Okay, so Z is equal to 1. Okay, so ang Z-score niya sa English is 1. Okay, how about sa physics? Z is equal to, anong score niya sa physics? 70. So, minus, ilan yung mean, average sa physics? 60. And the standard deviation of 8. So, pag kinumpute natin yan, Z is equal to 1.25. Okay? So, yan. Kung titignan natin yan, kung igagrap natin yan, guys, ganito yan, no? Okay? So, ito yung karamihan, average natin. So, nandito yung average, no? Okay? So, yung English daw niya is ito. So, nakaka- mas lamang siya ng one uh, standard deviation sa average, no? Pero sa physics, 1.25. So, mas mataas yung score niya sa physics. So, therefore, pa- ano sasabihin natin? Mas better yung uh, physics niya, no? Better in physics. Okay? So again, bakit naging better? Kasi 1.25 standard deviation ang layo niya sa average versus sa English which is uh, which is one standard deviation lang sa um, uh, average. Okay? So, I hope clear no kung ano ibig sabihin nun nung ating uh, Z-score. So, yan ang ating number 2. Number 3. In a science test, the mean score is 42 and the standard deviation is 5. Assuming that the scores are normally distributed, what percent of score is greater than 48, less than 50, between 30 and 48? Okay? So, yan. Tignan nyo mabuti yung given natin. Uh, problem natin no, sa tatlo yung hinahanap natin. So, letter A muna tayo. Greater than 48. So, paano ba natin malalaman ilan yung nakakuha ng greater than 48, no? Okay? So, isolve muna natin yung Z, yung Z-score natin. So, for letter A, uh, Z is equal to, what is X? X natin is 48, greater than 48. So, minus the sample mean, which is 42. All over the standard deviation. What is the standard deviation? 5. So, pag uh, kinumpute natin yan, Z will be equal to 1.2. Okay? Kung igagrap natin yan, guys. So, 0. Nasaan si 1.2? Approximately, nandito. Okay? Nandyan. So, yung previous topic natin, Alin dyan ang hinahanap natin, guys? Sabi daw is greater than. So, greater than. Alin kaya dyan? Ito. Shaded area. Okay? But of course, uh, para makuha natin yan, kunin natin yung value nito sa table of values natin, no? 1.2. 
Okay? Ano kaya yung value ng area na yon? So, that is, kung titignan natin sa uh, uh, table of values natin, that is 0.3849. Uh, so, ito yun. 0.3849. Yung ba ang kailangan natin? Hindi, guys. Kasi greater than eh. So, ito. Itong nasa going to right. Anong gagawin natin para makuha yon? Very good. So, ima-minus natin siya sa uh, 0.5. Okay? So, 0.5 minus yung value natin which is 0.3849. So, the difference will be 0.1151. Then, multiply lang natin siya by 100. So, our answer will be 11.51%. So, this will be our final answer guys. Ibig sabihin, there are There are 11.51% who got a score greater than 48. Dahil wala naman tayong given kung ilan yung uh, sample natin, kung ilan silang nag-exam, basta ang sinabi lang is yung mga ano natin, data, no? So, wala naman nakalagay na kung ilang estudyante yung nag-exam. So, in short, meron tayong 11.51% na nakakuha ng uh, 48 pataas. Pero kung may number tayo dyan ng uh, examinees or ng students, imumultiply lang natin siya, makukuha na natin kung ilang estudyante yon Later, may sample tayong ganyan, no? Okay? So, meron tayong 11.51 who got greater than 48. Next, sa letter B. So, sabi sa letter B, guys, less than 50. Less than 50. So, ganun ulit. Z is equal to 50 minus 42. So, parang same lang yan dito. Ito lang pinapalitan natin eh. Yung una. All over 5. So, Z is equal to 1.6. Okay? So, 1.6. Kung igagrap natin yan, guys. Nasaan si 1.6? Ito, 0. Nandito si 1.6. Okay? Ayan, 1.6. No? Pero ang sabi sa atin is what? Less than. So, less than. Saan ba ang direction nun? Going to right, going to left. Very good. Going to left. Okay. So, ngayon, na-visualize na natin yung graph natin. Going to left. Anong susunod, susunod na gagawin natin? Very good. Kukunin yung value ng area. Ng 1.6. Okay. Kung titignan natin, the value will be 0.4452. Alin dyan yung 0.4452? 0.4452. Ito lang yun. Ayan. Mula gitna hanggang 1.6. So, anong gagawin natin? Kasi less than 50 eh. Very good. Ipa-plus naman siya. So, 0.5 plus 0.4452. So, the, the sum will be... What is the sum? The sum will be 94.9452 times 100. So, there will be 94.52% who got a score higher than or 50 below. Yun yung hinahanap natin eh. Less than 50. 50 below. Okay? Okay. So, yun yung application ng ating previous topic, yung normal curve. So, last, eto, letter C. Between 30 and, um, between 30 and 48. So, dahil dalawa siya, dalawang beses din tayo magko-compute, no? Ayan. So, dito muna tayo sa, dalawang beses din tayo magko-compute, guys. Kasi dalawa, between 30 and 48. So, yun yung sabi, between 30 and 48. So, unahin natin si... 30. Convert muna natin si 30. So, Z is equal to 30 minus 42 all over 5. So, remember guys, ha, ito lang ang pinapalitan natin dyan. No? Kasi parang uh, isa lang naman yung statement natin, iba-iba lang yung value. No? Or values. Kaya ito lang yung pinapalitan natin yung una. So, Z will be equal to negative 2.4. Ano sunod na gagawin? Titignan yung value ng area niya. Very good. What is the value of negative 2.4? Kung titignan natin dun sa ano natin. 
Negative 2.4 that is Check natin Negative 2.4 that is 4918 Okay 4918 So 0.4918 Dun sa isa naman um, 30 tayo di ba? Between 30 and Ano yung isa natin? Between 30 and 48 So sa 48 naman tayo Z is equal to 48 minus 42 Over 5 So yan Z will be equal to 1.2 So area natin is equal to Look for the value of 1.2 1.2 that is 0.3849 Pero visualize muna natin yan Kagrap natin yan eh no Okay So 0 Una natin ito Negative 2.4 So nandito sa kaliwa yan Negative 2.4 Extend natin Tapos yung isa is 1.2 So basta kahit ano uh, Basta may label lang tayo sa baba Yung importante doon So sabi daw is between Alin dyan ang shaded area natin Between So ito Yung nasa gitna Okay Tapos ilabel natin yung area natin Yung uh, nakuha nating value So alin dyan ang 4918 Ito 0.4918 Mula dito hanggang dito Sa gitna Tapos itong isa Ayan 0.3849 So base sa graph natin Anong gagawin natin Para makuha natin yung total area natin Ia-add natin Very good So we have 0.4918 Plus 0.3849 So the sum will be Anong sum natin yan So the sum will be 0.3849 8767 times 100 So there will be 87.67% Who got a score of um, Who got a score of uh, 30 to 48 Between 30 and 48 So marami no 87.67% So I hope naintindihan nyo guys ha? Maliwanag naman yung example natin Sa kanyang solutions Kung paano siya ginagamit no So, ganyan ang ating number 3. Ito guys, number 4. Parang same din to ng number 3, kaya lang ang pinagkaiba, meron na tayong number of uh, students para malalaman natin kung ilan talaga, no? hindi lang tayo nagre-rely sa percentage. Okay? So, yan. Uh, yan, i-ano na natin. Solve natin. 800 uh, students took an, an, exam, an examination in statistics the mean score obtained is 80% and the standard deviation is 6% assuming that the, that the data are normally distributed find the percentage and the number of students who obtained 83% or higher 75 to 86 and letter C 87 to 93 say 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 ulit natin ganun, ganun lang ulit yan kaya lang pinagkaiba lang meron na tayong number of students no So, kailangan na nating alamin kung ilan. So, for letter A, we have uh, Z is equal to 83 minus 80 all over standard deviation natin, 6. So, Z is equal to 0.5 or 0.50, no? Tapos, anong gagawin natin, guys? Pag green up natin yan. So, 0. Nandito siya. 0.50. Anong hinahanap natin? Higher than. So, ito yung shaded area. Kunin natin yung value ng 0.50. Pag kinuha nyo yung value ng 0.50, ang sagot natin doon is 1915. No? Okay? So, ito yon 0.1915 So, hindi naman yan ang kailangan natin So, ima-minus natin siya sa 0.5 0.5 
minus um, 0.1915 so the difference will be the difference will be 0.3085 ayan 0.3085 so pag ang hinahanap natin is percent there will be how many 30.85% who got a score of 83% above no kung percent so parang yan yung sagot natin kanina pero pinapahanap din sa atin dito is uh, the percentage so yun meron na tayong percentage and the number of students so ilang kayang estudyante so eto kita times lang natin siya sa number of students no so 800 times 0.3085 kita times lang natin yan Okay. Ano kaya ang product natin? So 800 um, 800 times 0.3085 So that is 246.8 No? Pero dahil number of students ang pinag-uusapan natin or tao, wala naman decimal na tao, di ba? So We are going to round it up. So there will be 247 students. No? So there will be 247 students who got a score of 83% above or higher. So ganun lang. So nakita nyo, ito mayroon na tayong specific number, no? Kanina wala, ang hinahanap lang natin percentage. Dito mayroon na tayong specific number. So ganun pa rin. Next, letter B. Letter B natin, ang hinahanap natin dyan guys is 75 to 86. So, same procedure pa rin. Z is equal to sa 75 muna tayo, 75. So, ito, pinapalitan ko lang. Minus 80 over 6. So, Z is equal to negative 0.83. Okay? Then, yung isa naman. Z is equal to 86 minus 80 divided by 6. Z is equal to 1.00. Okay? So, kung kukunin natin ang area nito, ang sagot nito is 0.2967. Atong isa is um, 0.3413. Nasa table of values natin yan, no? Okay? So, yan. Tapos, pag igagrap natin siya, guys. Ito, 0. Tapos, negative 0.83. Nasaan yun? Nandito sa kaliwa. Zero, negative 0.83. Tapos, yung 1.0. Ito, nasa kanan. 1.00. So, ano bang hinahanap natin? Between. From, uh, from 75% to 86%. Ayan. So, yun nasa gitna. No. Okay. So, ito yun. Ito yung 0.2967. Ito. Yung area. Itong kalahati na to. Then, the other one. 0.3413. Ito din yun. So, anong gagawin natin, guys? Ayan. Very good. Alam na, alam na. Ia-add natin siya. So, 0.2967 plus 0.3413. Okay? So, that is what? What is the sum? So, pag in natin yan, guys. Um, 0.2967 plus 0.3413 it will give us 0.6380 so times 100 that is 63.80% so merong um 63.80% na nakakuha ng 75 to 86 
Okay? Tapos, um, ang gagawin naman natin guys, anong susunod? Number of students. Anong gagawin nga ulit doon guys? Ito. Imumultiply natin sa number of students, no? So, 800 times 0.6380. So, times natin siya. 800 times 0.6380. 800 times 0.6380 It will give us um, 510.4 So round, round up natin Or that is 510 students Okay? So meron daw 510 students Out of 800 Na nakakuha ng scores Na between 75 to 86 Okay? So, I hope that is clear. So, madali lang naman, di ba guys? Next, last, number, uh, letter C. Sa letter C natin guys, ang hinahanap natin is 87 to 93. Ayan o, oh, 87 to 93. So, same, uh, same procedure pa rin tayo. 87 minus 80 over 6. So, Z is equal to 1.17 The other one Z is equal to 93 minus 80 Over 6 Z is equal to 2.17 Kunin natin yung area So itong area niya is 0.3790 The other one Area is 0.4850 sa table of values lang yan guys Pag in-illustrate natin siya Ito yung zero natin 1.17 nandito Tapos um, 2.17 Ayan no? Okay So nasan dyan yung 3.790 Ito siya 0.37 na uh, 3790 The other one, nasan yung 4850? Mula dito sa gitna hanggang doon sa uh, 2.17 So 0.4850 Hindi naman siya sagad sa dulo eh, di ba? So kasi may limit tayo, mula lang daw 87 hanggang 93 So anong gagawin? Very good, ima-minus natin yung 0.3790 sa 4850 So minus natin siya um, 0.4850 minus 0.3790 So ang difference natin diyan is uh, compute natin 4850 uh, Minus 3790 It will give us 0.1060 Times 100 So there will be how many? 10.60% So meron daw 10.60% Na nakakuha ng 87 to 93 Or ilang estudyante yun? 800 times 0.1060 So, 800 times 0.1060 That is 84.8 Or 85 students So, out of 800, there are 85 students who got a score of 87 to 87 93 Okay So I hope that is clear Sa, uh, sa ganda ng example natin At saka sa daling intindihan no? Yan So yan ang ating number 4 Number 5 For an applicant to qualify For a scho uh, scholarship grant At a certain university The applicant must belong To the top 5% In an entrance test 
If the test has a mean of 100 and the standard deviation of 10, find the lowest possible score to qualify for the scholarship. Assume that the scores are distributed normally. So, ito medyo kakaibang problem to. Nilagyan lang ng konting twist. Pero doon pa rin siya iikot doon sa problem natin, no? Okay? So, i-visualize muna natin siya. Kung i-visualize natin siya, guys, ito yung min natin. Ano daw yung hinahanap natin? Top 5%. Nasaan yung top 5%? Nandito. Ito lang yun, no? Yung top 5%. Ito yung area na yan. Dapat kasama ka daw dyan. Okay? Kasi wala naman ang, ang hinahanap natin is ano ba yung possible score. So, ang hinahanap natin dito, guys, is yung X. Okay? So, X ang nawawala. Hindi yung Z. So, paano natin gagawin yan? Okay? So, i-convert natin yung 5% sa decimal. Yun yung una natin gagawin. Kasi ang kalahati is 50% or 0.5. So, i-minus natin si 0.05. So, we have 0.5000 for decimal places kasi yun eh. Minus 0.0500, it will give us 0.4500. So, anong gagawin natin dito sa 0.4500? Tignan natin yung table of values natin. Tignan natin guys. Meron bang eksaktong 0.4500? Kasi ang hinahanap natin dyan is yung Z. Remember guys, ang formula natin ito. Z is equal to X minus X bar over S. Meron tayong standard deviation. Meron tayong mean. Ang nawawala natin, itong X. No? Pero wala pa rin tayong Z. Okay? Wala tayong Z. Kaya, yun ang hahanapin natin. Tignan natin, tignan natin sa table of values. Meron bang eksaktong 0.4500? Meron bang eksaktong 0.4500? Tignan nyo guys. Tignan nyo mabuti dyan. 4500. So, wala. Wala, ba? Meron dalawang mas malapit. 4500. So, dalawa. Meron 0.4495 at saka merong 0.4500. 4505 Okay? Sa natin kinuha yung 0.4495 na yan 0.4495 Yan is 0.4495 That is 1.64 Galing yan sa 1.64 1.64 Itong isa naman 0.4505 Galing yan sa 1.65 Tignan nyo lang table of values, no? Doon ko kinuha yan. Kasi ang hinahanap natin, meron ba tayong saktong 0.4500? Wala. So, dahil wala, titignan nyo yung mas malapit. Pero dahil walang mas malapit sa kanya, kumbaga gitnang gitna siya, nasa pagitan talaga siya ng 0.4495 saka 0.4505, para sa natin siyang i-consider, ha? Tignan nyo mabuti. Pero if ever, if ever, halimbawa, ito is 6. Halimbawa yan, 6. Sino ang mas malapit dyan kay 0.4500? Si 0.4495. Kasi 0.0005 lang yung difference niya. Unlike nitong isa, ang difference niya is 0.0006. So, automatic, si 0.4495 ang i-consider natin. Okay? Kasi kung sino talaga yung mas malapit. Pero dahil dito sa sample natin na 0.04500, saktong-sakto, gitnang gitna siya sa pagitan ni... Uh, sa pagitan nitong... Um, sa pagitan ng 0.4495 sa kanang 0.4505 So ang gagawin natin, kukunin nyo sila pareho Pero, ito na yung uh, dapat natin gawin dyan guys Ang gagamitin natin dyan is yung mas higher value Yung mas mataas, no? Higher value Okay? Again, ulitin natin guys Pag gitnang gitna siya, na wala talagang mas malapit sa kanya So ang gagawin nyo, pipiliin natin yung mas mataas, yung higher value So, itong gagamitin natin value ng Z, which is 1.65. Okay? So, yan na guys. Makukuha na natin. Yun lang naman yung tricks doon, no? So, ang Z natin is 1.65. 1.65. Substitute natin is equal to, ang nawawala natin is X. X minus 
min, sample min natin, 100. All over S. Ano yung S natin? Standard deviation niya is 10. So, yan na. As easy as that, no? Derive lang natin. So, pag dinerive natin yung cross multiplication, this will have, uh, we will be having 16.5. Is equal to x minus 100. So, to solve for x, x is equal to 116.5. Okay? Or, kasi wala naman 0.5 sa exam, no? Or, 117. Or, uh, higher, no? So, dapat, ang pinakamababang score na makukuha mo para makasama ka sa top 5%, eto sa top 5%, kailangan ang pinakamababang score na makukuha mo is 117 or 170, uh, 117 or higher. Dapat ang score natin. Para masabing mapasama ka sa scholarship dahil kasama ka sa top 5%. Okay, so ulitin natin guys. Yan sa problem natin. Sabi, kailangan daw kasama ka sa top 5%. Ayan, eto. Inillustrate natin siya. Then after that guys, Convert natin si 5% into decimal. So, that is 0.05. So, i-minus natin dun sa kalahati. 0.5000 minus 0.0500. It will give us 0.4500. Anong gagawin natin dun? Tignan natin sa table of values. Meron bang sakto? Wala. Wala. Titignan, uh, so, gitnang gitna. Pagka gitnang gitna siya, yung mas mataas na value ang kukunin natin. Then, uh, substitute lang natin hanggang sa masolve natin yung value of, of x which is 100. 16.5 or 117 or higher dapat ang score, no? Okay? So, yan ang topic natin. Yan ang discussion natin about standard score. No? So, I hope you learned something new. That's all for today. Thank you. Have a nice day. Keep safe, everyone. Bye-bye.